Today I'm excited to share our new Save the Bees plate. We have a really cute Manny demo planned for you, so let's just get started. I'm going to start with actually this image right here, and we're going to use number 60, which is Antique Shimmer, as our sort of base color. Press down on the plate, a couple of light scrapes, Roll over top, there we go. Just gonna clean up a little wee bit here, make sure we don't overshoot. And we're working over top of Painted Polish by Lexi. I'm gonna pull it up here in one sec. This color here, Lemonade Lust beautiful kind of lemony yellow perfect for a bee manicure oh. just using my lint roller to clean my stamper it's time for a new sheet there we go all right so we'll make sure that guy's nice and clean and then we're going to pick up our next color this image here, which we're going to use um, our black, which is called More Like 1AM. And then that will be our details. And that will be the first nail of our B Manny. So apply here, use quite a bit. Push down the plate, a couple of good scrapes roll over top all right so these guys just kind of layer in over top take your time and figure out where things match up and then just gently press there we go and there's our full coverage B body it even looks fuzzy, I love it. Okay, so for the center nail, let's go to that one. We are going to use this image here, and then I wanna pop Save the Bees in between. All right, for the next nail, we're gonna use blue right on by, and this image here, we're gonna layer up some flowers and create a little Save the bees circle. All right. Straight onto the nail. So there's our little bit of blue that's going to sparkle through. I'm going to use black, kind of just going with the whole yellow and black theme here. So that'll be our outline. Great. Super light over top, pick up all that detail. And now just take your time lining things up. And give it a press, hold it for a second, let that transfer over. So pretty. All right. So I think we should put Save the Bees in black. Make sure it leaps out. And we'll see, we might want to put that um, blue red on by over top and just sort of create a shadowed effect. We'll see how we see how we like it. And light over top. Mm, don't love it. We can do better. See how it's kind of missing part of the S. Okay, give it a clean. Make sure our black is well mixed. And I'm going to apply downward and then scrape upwards. Probably should have gone a little further to get rid of that big blob, but that gave us a really nice pickup. So it was worth it. Clean off the excess here. 
and then go straight in the center. Well, it's pretty. Let's see what it would look like with the blue as a layer. One thing I love about having the clear stamper is that you can hold it over top and see if you like it before you press it down. So you're not committed. Commitment issues. All right, so let's try. This one's a little bit um, see-through, so I'll just give a little bit of a glow possibly to our save the bees. bit offset so it almost looks like a shadow all right so now we've got save the bees down we're gonna move on to doing a bee on this guy so clean this off a little bit black everywhere and let's start with the base I'm gonna use peach Akeen jelly bean which is number 14 that will be the yellow of our bee. So that's going to be this image right here. I'm going to do that first. Light scrape. Light over top. Clean off the excess. And we'll pop our little bee right in the center. Yellow on yellow, but it's still going to serve us a purpose here. Actually, let's do the wings next. I think I want to do the wings. I was going to use stone, but let's go to. I think this is called soft petal. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, my uh, we'll pop it up on the screen to make sure that I'm right here. I'm not sure on number 66, but that's what we're going to use for our wings. Just sort of a creamy, buttery color. Light scrape. Light roll over top. And now this just slides right in beside his little body here. Like that. And now we're going to come with black. I think we'll use black. That'll be give us the most contrast. It would probably look really nice with um, the antique luster too, the number 60. But um, that would work too. Clean off the excess. You can use the side of your scraper for that as well if you don't have something on your nails that you can easily do that with. All right, so hover over top until you like the line, lining up of everything. And give it a press. And now you have a very realistic looking bee. So, on to the next. Um, I want to do, we're gonna do some flowers on this one, but we're also gonna do um, this cute little beehive, this hanging beehive here on this one. So, for the tree branch, let's continue with our antique luster just to keep things consistent. I like to have consistent colors throughout a manicure. Everybody's a little different. Then we'll have our, our style. Give that a scrape. Nice and light over top. Now, there's a couple voids in there, but honestly, for a tree branch, I think it looks kind of natural. We're going to leave it. And on to the nail. Press and hold. It's our little branch. Now let's get on a couple of little leaves there. I think I'll use... Well, I'm going to use Mystic Moss just because it's nice and deep. It'll kind of stay subtle like the rest of the the colors, kind of earthy colors in our mani here. If you go too light, it's I don't want the leaves to stand out more than everything else. So nice and light on the pickup. Clean off the excess that we've 
don't want on there. Brass and all. And there's our little branch, which is nicely going to hold our beehive. Make sure that's all clean. So, clean off my nails. Um, this is our base right here, and then this is our beehive. So we'll start with the base. I'm gonna do the base in, let's do stone. And then we're gonna use the slate gray as the outline. And let's see how good a coverage we get over top of this pretty shimmery base that we've used. the excess so I want that to hang kind of right there oh no I think that's great coverage sometimes the shimmer will show through if the polish isn't quite opaque enough all right gonna give that a little tiny cleanup just because I've hit the edges there a bit want to make sure that I get a perfect lift when I do this detailed layer of my little beehive so that's number 42. And slate was number 15, if I didn't mention that. But we'll put that up for you too. Ah, a little too light on my lift. I'll do it one more time. Make sure my polish is good and mixed. In case that was the issue, not my lift. Lie it down, just to make sure. We'll scrape it up. Not designed to be a, a real solid outline, so that's perfect. And get it lined up. And press down. Now, just for fun, let's add some buzzing bees. Um, this image up here is actually designed to be color and detail for this little piece of heather, but I think it's the perfect image to look like a bunch of buzzing bees. So let's do them in, no, let's do them in chocolate. No, let's do them in black. Let's give them some punch, because they're really tiny, so. I'm gonna use this little group right here. Scrape, roll over top. cute okay so for the last nail I want to do some flowers our bees need something to uh, buzz around and we can't have flowers without bees so I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit I'm gonna move this guy over just so I don't wreck him this one too click all right so let's clean this up because those are our, the flowers that we're going to use. They're those great big beautiful daisies. Okay. So I'm going to base with angelic white, number 34. center, I'm going to use Peach Akeen Jelly Bean, number 14. It's a nice, rich looking center. All right, 
And then I'm gonna outline in just, um, Jenny's gonna love it, just the flat white. You could also outline in, oh gosh, in anything, in the soft brown, in a gray, um, just to get a different look. It's amazing how when you outline with something a little bit different, it just gives a different, more antique look or brightens things up. This is gonna be a little brighter with just the soft white. And then line things up a little bit here. It doesn't really matter if you get it perfect because it's such a petally flower. Really pretty. And let's do one more smaller one down a little bit. And then we'll contemplate putting a B in there with it. All right. I'm using our plate cleaner to clean our plates. And my hands once in a while too. <laughs> I get polished everywhere when I'm doing this. Okay, so let's do exactly the same thing. We're gonna do 34 as our little base. Stone would be really pretty outline for this too. A little more defined, but still nice and light. The bottom left, there's kind of one petal that sticks out more, so that's what I use to, to aim at. Okay, I think we should put a little tiny bee in there. So, what do we want to use? Let's just do the yellow. I can really see it on the yellow, but it's there. And then we'll use this guy. I'm just gonna kind of do the front part of him. That's all I really want are his little wings. Not to say that we'll be able to easily see them, but let's try. And now we'll use the black again. For all of his outline. Could have even probably just done the outline. And had a decent effect on this um, yellow nail. There. All right. Together, our full coverage one and our message save the bees thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video